Okay, so it might be a bit of a, uh, a wives' tale, but to, uh, to help me uh, fight the battle with the slugs, what I've got is I've got some eggshells, okay, um, from a local person who eats a lot of egg uh, in the name of Jay Man Khan, because it's a good source of protein, it's healthy, um, it has, doesn't have a lot of fat in there, it's a lot of things, it, it's fantastic, it's easily done, you can scramble it, you can fry it, you can boil it, you can poach it, you can eat it raw and do some rocky style, um, but I eat a lot of it. So what I'm going to do with the eggshells, as you can see, we've got the whole eggs in it when they've been boiled back. We break them up, okay, and I'm not sure if it is an old wives tale or not, but if you put it around the pan, apparently it does help deter the slugs. Now, it may work fantastic if it does, if it doesn't, worst case scenario, I've probably lost about 25 minutes of my time, but I don't mind. I'm, I'm out here in front of the sun, looking after the plants, looking at all of them. So all I'm going to do is crush them up, once I've crushed them, just sprinkle a little bit just around them. Uh, and if it saves one, one cauliflower, one cabbage, one piece of fruit um, or vegetable, it, it's a job well done. It may work, it may not. Let me know if it is a, a complete old wife's tale or if it does work. I've read lots of different things. Some things say it deters some slugs, it doesn't deter other slugs. Some are bothered about it, some are. I'm gonna do it just so that I can uh, help me win the, uh, win the battle with the slugs. So I'll just get on with it. Hello. Okay, so. What I'm gonna to do today is I'm going to transplant my squash. These are squash I actually sowed um, in a seeding tray, first of all, on the 27th of February, okay? And then what I did was in episode, bing, I transplanted them into the pot. I remember uh, Fifty Shades of uh, Green, who has another uh, YouTube channel, said, I'm gonna be watching, I'm gonna be watching your squash. Now, this is squash, I know that for sure, because I sowed it and I planted it. Uh, only a handful of them survived. I made a couple of mistakes when I was transplanting. Now, here I have, uh, I have another one. I'm not actually sure if this is a pumpkin, a marrow, or what that is. That was given to me by a member of my family. And I have another one just there again. Now, again, I'm not sure whether that's a pumpkin, a squash, a marrow, a courgette, or what. But I know for sure this is a squash. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the squash and I'm gonna go it vertically. Couple of reasons why. I don't have a lot of space at the plot anyway. That's one reason. And I wanna try growing it vertically up here. So I'm gonna plant them here. And this is the bed that I've been clearing in the back, okay? Divided three sections. Each one is gonna have uh, one of these fellas in there. I'm getting stung by this sharp object here, which I put there as a, as a bit of a divider, but it's, it's, it's stabbing me, but that's okay. So I've divided it into three sections. Squash, uh, the next plant, and then the next plant, and there's going to have three of these. Now, one of these, uh, this, um, one of these canes, uh, so long, you can see the full length there. All I've done is stuck it in the ground, okay? Now, here's a top tip. Stick the cane in the ground first, okay, and then put the plant in. If you were to put the plant in first, and then put the cane in, you may find that this cane goes into the root and it damages the root. So the top tip is, put the cane in first so that when you put the plant in, if anything, the plant's roots can work around it. Okay, so all I need to do now is I'm gonna put it in the ground. Now, I'm not an expert, I'm following a couple of simple rules. Now I know with this particular, I had to believe that in the ground, if it's got some manure in there, deep, it's quite, quite well. So what I did do is a couple of months ago, I put some manure in here, well rotted manure, and I dug it in quite deeply. So fingers crossed, it should go well. So let, let's just start digging it in the, uh, in the ground. So this is gonna go here. What I'm gonna do is I've got um, the cane here. Once this starts growing a little bit more, I'm gonna attach it to the cane and fingers crossed, fingers crossed, toes crossed, everything crossed, it's gonna slowly climb up here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach a couple of nails 
okay, um, to the side, to the back of it, and I'm gonna gently tie it, perhaps with an elastic band, or just with something loose, just to hold it on, hold it on, hold it on, hold it on, so it can eventually climb up here. Now I'm gonna put one, two, three. The plan is, all three of them climb up to the top. If they climb up to the top and they're still climbing, I'm gonna build some kind of, um, sort of like sort of like a thing for them to climb and I forgot what the word is it's called a, I'll find out and it's called a and it'll go up and it'll climb along here now that is going to be a safe uh, a space saving idea for me and I just want to see if I can do it because I like kind of doing experiments let's get digging away Hi guys, I'm just uh, doing a little bit of weeding with one of the, uh, the many thousands of uh, items you can use to weed. And I just wanted to share this with you. I was uh, really, really, really excited. Now I'm just doing a bit of weeding and I've just noticed that is going to be my turnip. It's, uh, I think it's a purple top turnip, but that is actually going to be my turnip. I've just noticed one on there while I'm taking out some of these, uh, some of these weeds and then I've noticed them. Um, that one is, uh, is slowly becoming a turnip and if you go around there's another one there so I'm actually quite excited. These are ones I actually uh, I sold on the 27th of, um, on the 27th of February. Uh, as you can see I've got, I'm meant to have a row of three, then two, then three, and then two, and then three, and then two. But they're coming along now, it's, uh, it's the end of May literally so what have we had? We've had uh, got the middle of February, end of February so we've had March, April, May, three months, and they're already getting on. So I'm quite excited about that. Okay, we've reached a point at the allotment uh, where it is, it's a monumental moment. Like, it's like giving away your daughter on a wedding day or having your first child. Um, I'm going to transplant my tomato from its pot into the grow bag. It's a proud moment, isn't it? It really, really is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I've got my grow bag here from um, the Allotment Society, Brighton Grow Allotment Society. Do check out the website, I'm actually on the website as well. There's lots and lots of information on the website with regards to what you can do throughout the month from January through to December. Okay, so again, free delivery. So all I'm gonna do is grab the grow bag. Uh, and if you've watched my last video, you'll know that I'm gonna do one slightly deep, one slightly flat. First thing I'm doing with the grow bag, put some holes in there for drainage, okay. Well, holes in there, over, okay. And then I think I've decided I'm going to put three in there, so I've already made a hole in there, hole in there, and a hole in here, okay. Now, I've actually not grown tomatoes in a grow bag before, okay. So I'm not 100% sure um, the best way to do it. Now, today I have actually forgotten my knife as well, so hence I'm going to have to do a bit of a, a bit of a thing with the jog. So my knife effectively is going to be this. Okay, I'm going to have to rip it open. There we go. Nice little uh, yeah, let's go there. Turn there. So all I'm going to do is just one for now. Now, I'm not an expert and it's nine, it's gone past nine o'clock in the evening. Now, I'm wondering whether I just slot that in there. Okay, obviously having taken the, uh, the pot away. Or, I don't know whether I should put that here that hasn't got a hole in it. It hasn't got a hole in it, if you can see, there's no hole in there. Putting that in here, then taking it and then lifting up so it gets a bit of a raise and dropping that in just a little bit. Now, I don't know what the best thing to do is, or I've got a bigger one um, that I could use. Now, because I don't know, tonight I'll have a look and I really wanted to do this today. So all I'm gonna do is, I am gonna use this one. So, pop that in there just ever so slightly. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this one in there obviously having taken the, um, the pot off 
and uh, that hopefully that uh, that will be it. And is that my magic tap again? Bab, 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 bab. Work out there. There we go. Drop that in there. Got it nice and smooth. Okay, I've well, got some multi-purpose compost just back here. You're ready for me? That should be my first tomato in there. I'm going to continue in the same vein and do that one and that one. And then uh, give them a good old water in. Now, the other thing that I'm uh, going to do is, I've got a couple of small pots here. Once I've got the other two in, I'm going to make a little hole and just dip that small pot in there. So when I water it, the water's going to go in here and it's going to get to the roots as opposed to just straight over the top. So that one here, so another one will probably go along the lines of there, you can't see it, uh, just along here. And then I'll drop this one in here. And have one on this side, one on this side, perhaps one on that side, one on that side. But just a, just a couple of extra little holes to get there. We'll get the other one done anyway. Okay, so you'll be able to see there on the far left hand side, I used a much, much bigger, deeper uh, bowl as it were and I've filled it up to perhaps the first set of leaves and in the middle one you can see I started that one on the video and you can see how I have done that and again it's just gone up to the base there okay and on the last one on the right hand side of the screen what you will see is I put the plant pot straight in at that level I didn't well I took out the plant pot but I didn't put any extra soil in there what I may do is I may build that up later on one, one thing that I didn't actually talk about in the video is is in the putting the cane in so after I put the um, the plant in there there and there I put the cane in just a little bit uh, to the left hand side so it doesn't disturb any of the roots here so three canes have gone up and to make them a little bit more solid I'm gonna have another cane going across and just tie them up at the end just to make sure that they don't sway over anything like that now the canes are obviously there potentially when the when the tomato plants grow up and they're so heavy and they've got so many tomatoes on there they don't lean to the side what I am gonna do is I'm gonna do a couple of more grow bags tomorrow and that will be my tomato in my uh, in my greenhouse so I'm, uh, I'm really 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 chuffed at my first set of tomatoes going in there Okay, so thanks for watching this episode of J Man Can. If you've liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Hopefully, you're following my episode and you're having a good laugh and it's some fun. Today, what have I done? Got my squash in on the left hand side of the plot just over there. Got my tomatoes in the greenhouse. It's been that moment. Hope you've enjoyed it. Speak to you soon. Bye.